Hello, welcome to the Spirit Guide Daily. These are daily messages, but they're timeless. They will reach you when they are meant to. And this is the Chromecast at the Rising Moon. Hey guys, for the month of December, these will be available to December 2023. These will be up on my YouTube channel. I do have to, because I also have to pay my bills, move these to a membership or a Patreon capacity going forward. And they will be daily messages Monday through Friday. There'll be some other things involved in that Patreon, but let's get going with what we're doing here. This is the hmm, Cirque de Tarot. I had to think for a moment, I beg your pardon. We have the Quantum Oracle is gonna bring us a card as well, and we're gonna get an activation card. Big time of activation again, even though we are in, as I'm filming this, and we'll see this in December, um, even though we're in the, the winter season where like everything lies fallow, the, the, it's basically when the fields regenerate. But there are expansions within your life as things come back, I want to say to more vivid color. And the thing to remember is that the area of your life, if you are expanding your psychic gifts, and your magical gifts that is most likely to expand in the winter month is actually spirit mediumship. And so be aware of that, be aware of that, particularly if it's been something you've been trying to hone, it might be a little bit off, off the hook for the period of the winter time, which is actually after October 31st in most magical calendars. And that is because the goddess Persephone is actually returns to Hades in mythology, but that is to indicate where the energy goes. It's a story around how the energy is managed. And so for the winter months, uh, she is in the underworld. And so that is where the abundance is most likely to occur, is an expansion in spirit mediumship, in the ability to see beyond the veil, in the ability to clear energies as well. It's a really good time to work on your clearing practices for magic. This comes out with the Eight of Wands in the upright, which is progress. It is communication. It can be falling in love. It can be travel over water. This one it has a, like a, um, a panther or a tiger depicted there, which is all about passion and drive as well. It's coming out with Queen of Wands in reverse. Interesting. And then the Five of Swords in reverse. We're going to take a fourth one on this one as well with the Emperor in reverse as well. Okay, so this is an energy of making very strong progress on your emotional management, which is another message that comes out over and over again. The Queen of Wands in reverse is often frustrated. She needs to take a pause before she says something she regrets type of thing. And remember, gender is genuinely meaningless in tarot. It is simply about learning how to, with this Five of Swords in reverse, which is one of the uh, cards for giving up the fight, it's not necessarily defeat. It genuinely is, in this instance, telling you that you're coming closer and closer to, this is a misuse of power <laughs> energy. The emperor in reverse, like it can indicate like a sociopath in a different context or an emotional abuser. Here, I don't think it is. What I think it's telling you is that you're making progress on working with that part of your personality, the part of your personality that like it kind of blows its stack sometimes. And please remember, all powerful people have a lot of energy with them and it within them, and it's kind of natural to be like somebody who can fly a little bit off the handle or a lot off the handle. And learning how to manage that is what stands between most people and success. Because you know, otherwise you blow up your own life. But it does look to me as if there's a great deal of progress on kind of conquering, working with that part of yourself. Remember, when you're frustrated, when you're angry, when you're sad, when you're upset, stop yourself from doing anything. Take good care of yourself. Take a walk, get out into the sun. It helps more than you can possibly know. Um, to have something really healthy to eat. Sometimes it's a good idea to figure out a way that, to spill off that energy that is productive. So sometimes it's important to get another project done or um, to work out. But it's learning how it's the responding, not reacting that I'm always on and on about, is that you respond to the feeling within with the appropriate self-care. And sometimes that will be like, I just, I can't focus, I need to work. Sometimes that will be like, I can't work because I can't focus. It depends. Check in with yourself. Check in with yourself. We have integration. The frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves. Holy grow. That's an echo. Allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. And that is exactly what I was just talking about is you're learning how to work with that part of yourself 
instead of shut it down, because it's a strategy that does not work. You cannot repress darker energies. And you have to understand them. You have to know how to work with them. They are part of your ability to manifest, by the way. So as everybody knows, here's the time where I start bagging on the law of attraction a little bit. And it is simply that, you know, it tells you don't have any doubt, don't allow yourself to think negative thoughts, etc. Repression as a way of life just makes people sick. And this is about learning how to have it not be about repression, but rather about being flexible with what you need to do to take care of you. And today we'll probably uh, present a couple of challenges around that. Remember, every step that you take towards this integration energy, towards this acceptance of self, this harmony within, is one step closer to your success and to your power and to the things that you want in this life. Whether it's monetary success or whether it's professional success or whether it's relationship success or if it's all of those, everything relies on your ability to work in conjunction with every single part of your power, which includes this stuff. Even though it like might have historically done you a little bit dirty because you're like, I really feel like I can't control it when it, lets, when it comes out like that. It's because you spend all your time repressing it rather than working with it. Learn to work with it and it's no longer your biggest foe. Instead, it's your animating force. The loving man, awesome. I want one more on that travel, interesting. So the eight of wands is a travel energy as well. Um, hey, listen, for some people, you're going to get word that a visitor is coming towards you. Um, I, it's kind of an interesting one because you're mad at them. <laughs> like, like there's, there's no way around that. It's like, I, there's no way to polish this one. Um, you felt like they did you dirty and they are coming back towards you. And what will that mean for different people? It depends for the people involved, but expect messages on that. Um, I don't get the sense that it's a romantic relationship, even though it's the loving man energy. I kind of get the feeling that it's like hmm, either friendship or family. Because there's a couple of cards here that just... Hmm, there's anger towards this person that is not about a relationship but like a revelation around potentially their their nature, their true nature. It kind of almost seems like you had to accept that somebody wasn't who you thought they were. Um, it looks like maybe they're making a reappearance in your life. It's gonna be different for different people. The bulk of this message really is about learning how to work with your darker aspects to have them within your control. Like I'm always saying, you're trying to put your monster on a leash or in this case, your great big tiger or your panther on a leash and be like, hey, we're going over there to slay that today. And that's all we're going to do and I'm the person in charge here. And it really is, honestly, it's never about pressing something down. It literally will never work. It just leads to explosions. And this is making really good progress on a bunch of things. But um, for other people, remember in a collective, everybody has different times when different things will be happening. It genuinely does look like somebody is potentially uh, coming back into your life and that you are honked off at them. And I'm not positive. It's going to be different for different people. I'm not positive what the outcome is on that. Um, kind of looks like they mean well. But like they, it might be a day late and a dollar short type of thing to have it make any difference in your life. Okay, Because it looks like the bulk of the damage is done, but you've learned how to deal with the damage. So that was the Spirit Guide Daily for today. These are timeless messages. They will find you when they're meant to. This is one of the ones that will be up on my YouTube channel. Um, as I said, in December of, I'm sorry, in January of 2024, I do need to move these to a Patreon and into a membership level. Um, because like I said, everybody's got to eat and that includes me. Take care, be well.